Now, let's debunk the most common lies about guinea pigs. Have you ever wondered what it takes to keep your guinea pigs happy and healthy? Can a guinea pig live on pellets or share a rabbit cage? Why do they need a big cage and is it true that they aren't supposed to live alone? Many people have asked me about the best cage size and what accessories they need to get. Hello, my name is Daniel and I've been passionate about caring for guinea pigs for the past three years. At the beginning, I struggle like you to understand the special care guinea pigs need. My mission is to guide you on your journey to becoming an exceptional guinea pig owner. Today, we'll discover six lies that can be harmful to your guinea pigs and how to fix them. Number one, guinea pigs are low maintenance pets. Many people think guinea pigs require minimal attention and that caring for them a couple of days a week is sufficient. Just because they can groom themselves doesn't mean they don't need your help. They need fresh water and food daily. As you know, guinea pigs digest food quickly so they often poop. Thus, their cage will become very messy in a short time. By spot cleaning their cage daily, you will keep your guinea pigs healthier and more active. They can even jump up and spin around to show how happy they are. This joyful behavior is called popcorning. Another key part of caring for your guinea pigs is grooming. They need regular nail trimming. Most will appreciate a good brushing even if they have short hair. By doing that every week, you will be able to look for any medical issue and also create a strong bond with your pet. But wait, what if I have to go away for the weekend? Can I drop a big pile of food and hay and they'll be fine until I come back. Later we'll discover how you can manage your travel while having guinea pigs. Number 2. Guinea pigs stink and they need regular baths. Have you ever heard that guinea pigs require regular baths because they are stinky? It is true that guinea pigs, like all animals, have a natural smell. However, their smell doesn't come from their fur. If you enter a guinea pig's room and it smells bad, it's mostly due to a poor cage maintenance. The bad smell originates from dirty hay because they urinate in different locations every 15 minutes. A strong smell of ammonia can cause lung problem in your guinea pig. Instead of batting them, it's better to spot clean their cage on a daily basis and do a full cleaning every week. But why do we need to avoid batting them? One main reason is their sensitive skin. Batting removes the essential oils from their fur that protect them. Personally, I only bat my guinea pigs about once a year with a gentle soap if they are really dirty. This can happen when one of them has diarrhea or is spraying another. Sometimes, Pumpkin, the one with long fur, will need special care because of her age and slow digestion. She has a tendency to have softer poo that stick and smudge to her long fur. To help her, we will only wash her bum, but she really doesn't like it. However, she always gets a nice treat afterward. Number 3. Guinea pigs can live in a small cage or a fish tank. Is your guinea pigs always sitting in the same corner looking bored and inactive? This one is a no-brainer in guinea pigs community, but a new owner can be misled by a pet store. I don't want to spend too much time on this. I've already talked about the proper cage size in my other videos. The truth is that guinea pigs need a big and well-ventilated space. Therefore, a fish tank is absolutely not suitable. The cage must be large enough to provide your guinea pig with ample space to move around. You must be able to place one hiding spot per guinea pig in the cage without taking up all the space. Having a place to hide will allow them to feel safe and less stress. Your guinea pig will also enjoy having some accessories like tunnel to stay active. A well-designed spacious cage with hiding spot is crucial for their well-being. Therefore, forget about buying those cages in a pet store. They are way too small for them. Number 4. Guinea pigs can be left alone for a long period of time like other pets. Is it really safe to leave my guinea pig alone for the weekend? Let me be clear. Leaving your guinea pigs alone for over 24 hours is not advisable. In my humble opinion, you should not leave your pets alone, whether it's a guinea pig, a cat, a dog, or any other animal. Besides fresh food and cage cleaning, a guinea pig also needs daily monitoring. This will ensure that you quickly detect and address any health issues. For their mental health, pets need regular interaction with their owners. Experts say that even animals left alone all day can become stressed and anxious. Correct me if I'm wrong or if you have a different opinion and leave a comment in the section below. If a guinea pig becomes sick or stops eating, the result can be catastrophic quickly. This is why it's important to have someone to trust to take care of your guinea pigs when you are away. If you don't know anyone who can care for your guinea pigs, ask your vet. They can recommend a nearby pet hotel. If you live a busy life and have no one to care for your pets while you are away, maybe you should reconsider having guinea pigs or any other pets. Number 5. Guinea pigs are fine living by themselves. 
Is your guinea pig lonely without you even realizing it? Some people think that it's okay to have only one guinea pig and it will be fine. A reputable pet store or shelter will usually not provide a single guinea pig to a new owner. I have heard of some people who got two guinea pigs for their two children and they thought it's a good idea to put them in separate rooms. Let me get this straight. Guinea pigs are social animals that thrive when living together. When they are separate or live alone, you will observe signs of loneliness and stress. The guinea pig will be less active and is always sleeping in the same corner. This stress can have considerable impact on their longevity. Some lonely guinea pig owner will say that their pet is not very social and prefer to stay alone. While this could be true in rare case, most of the time they just haven't found the right companion. One popular recommendation is to contact a pet shelter and ask if you can bring your guinea pig to find a good match. To avoid conflict, some owners keep their guinea pigs in separate cages placed next to each other, allowing them to maintain a social interaction. When guinea pigs live together, they feel safer and less stressed. They take care of each other by grooming and sleeping next to each other. One of them keep watch to protect the other from predators or to wake them up when you bring food. While not everyone has the space or financial resources to accommodate many guinea pigs, it is important to understand that a lonely guinea pig experiences more stress than one living in a group. Number 6. Guinea pigs don't need special diet, they can live only on pellets. Would you be able to survive only on processed food? A common myth about guinea pigs is that they only need pellets to survive. I've heard a second one that says that they only need to be fed once a day. Do you think that makes sense? It is true that good quality pellet enriched with vitamins are a good source of vitamin C and nutrients for your guinea pigs. However, guinea pigs have teeth that never stop growing. They must eat fiber to wear them down. A guinea pig that survives only on pellets won't have a long and happy life. That's why it's important to provide them with fresh hay multiple times a day. Hay must be 80% of their daily diet. And they can eat their weight in hay every day. No wonder why they are making so many droppings. Another essential element in their diet is fresh vegetable. Most safe vegetable will meet your guinea pig's vitamin C and nutrient needs. You can give about a cup of vegetable per guinea pig each day. For serving, give them half a cup in the morning, then give them the other half before dinner. They will expect your arrival and will be very excited to see you coming back, especially if you have grocery bags in your hand. For serving the hay, refresh their stack or their rack two or three times per day. The vet association recommends an eighth of a cup or one big tablespoon of pellets per guinea pig per day. Usually I give some pellets in the morning after the fresh hay and veggies. Then I'll do the same in the evening. Remember, pellets should always be fed with hay and fresh food. They should never be the main source of food for your guinea pig. With all the information out there, it can be very easy to get confused about the proper way to take care of your guinea pigs. There is a trick that only a few experienced guinea pig owners know. It will make your pet happy and keep it healthy. In my next video, I will discuss some amazing vegetables that are safe for your guinea pigs and will change their daily routine. Click here to watch it. And thank you for watching. As usual, if you're still here, you're an amazing guinea pig owner.